What's up guys, Sebastian here. Today we will learn how to recreate Ben TK's flip up transition in DaVinci Resolve Fusion. And if you don't know who Ben TK is, he's an incredible filmmaker and video editor. So I will leave his channel linked down below. So here's a little sequence from his video India where he used this transition. But now let's hop into the Fusion page and show you how you can recreate this for your own footage. <laughs> Alright guys, so now let's just get started. This is the base footage that I selected for this tutorial. And if you're wondering why this is looking that flat and the clip in the beginning was looking so good, it's because I've graded this with my teal and orange LUT pack, which you can check out in the description down below. But now let's go ahead, hit Alt on your keyboard and left click on this clip and drag it up. So you duplicate it, then select the duplicated clip and go to clip and then go to freeze frame. So now this will create a freeze frame or a stall from our video. So now let's move the clip out of the way, right click and create new fusion clip and then click on the fusion tab. Now click on your media in one and select the polygon tool. Now with this polygon tool selected, go to your inspector and hit invert to see the footage. And in order to save you some time, I will create rough masks, but I recommend to pay attention to the details when you're doing the mask to make the end result look as good as possible. So the first thing that I want to mask out is the pool. So I go ahead and just make a rough mask, but please keep in mind, make this mask as good as possible. So now let's just connect it to the beginning and then uncheck invert. And then let's select our polygon and media in one. Hit Ctrl C on your keyboard and then Ctrl V to paste it. Now hold Shift and drag your media in one there. And this will automatically connect the media in 1.1 with the merge node in between the media in one and the media out. So now deselect the media in one, connect it to the merge and drag this to the green arrow to the foreground and connect the media in 1.1 to the yellow arrow to the background. So now this comes up. Now let's go to our polygon 1.1 and check invert so we can see the whole image and then highlight all the markers that you made outside the frame and just drag them up to determine the second layer of the flip up. So I want to make a cut around this building part and then go up there. So let's drag them up right there. Drag this out of the frame like that. Drag this out of the frame, something like that. And now let's hit invert again so we can see that we're masking the right thing. Just a quick reminder, guys, if you're new to this channel and you enjoy my content and my videos, please consider leaving a like and a subscribe because this will just help the channel a ton. So. Thank you to y'all. Something like that. And now let's hit invert again. And now let's create another one. Select polygon 1.1 and media in one and hit control C on your keyboard. Then click off and hit control V to paste and then hold shift and drag your media in 1.1.1 on this timeline as it turns blue and then let go of it. So now drag your media in 1.1.1 there connected to the polygon 1.1.1. So now let's connect your merge one to the foreground and the media in 1.1 to the background of merge two. So now let's go to this polygon node and select everything except your cut line and then drag this one up. So you select your third layer So now uncheck invert. So this is just for the sake of this tutorial. If you want to use this technique, please keep in mind, make the mask as perfect as possible, because when you zoom in, that is not a perfect mask by any means. So keep in mind, make the mask as good as possible and take the time to create the mask. So now to animate your layers, go to your media in one and hit shift spacebar and then search for DVE and then add. So this automatically adds this DVE after the media in one. And on the DVE node, as you can see, you can rotate the X, X, and this flips the pool. But we have to reset our pivot. So let's go to frame zero, and then go on pivot, 
on the y x and type in zero so you see there is a green x which is the pivot point and then let's keyframe our x x and type in minus 90. so then let's say how many frames do we have 24 24 divided by 3 is 8 so let's go to frame 7 and then type in zero on the exhortation so now let's go ahead go to media in 1.1 hit shift spacebar and search for dve and add and then keep going then go to your y pivot again type in zero then go to frame zero keyframe the rotation and type in minus 90 then go to frame seven keyframe it again and then seven plus eight frames is 15 and then we go ahead go to frame 15 and go to the x rotation and type in zero now go ahead go to media in 1.1.1 hit shift spacebar search for dve again and add then go to your dve node go to pivot and type in zero then go to frame zero keyframe the rotation at minus 90 then go to frame 15 keyframe at minus 90 once again and then go to frame 23 and type in zero with all of this completed this should look something like this but it's not that smooth and we want to make it as smooth as possible so go to your spline window and then check dve3 zoom to fit highlight these two nodes and hit s on your keyboard and then you can drag this one up so that it's flipping upwards nice and smooth then you can uncheck dve3 go to dve2 go to your spline window check dve2 zoom to fit highlight both hit s on your keyboard repeat this process once again and then go to dve1 zoom to fit highlight both hit s on your keyboard to smooth and then repeat this process once again so let's watch this back so this is the basic effect looking pretty good but we can do a lot more so let's go back to the fusion page and go to your dve node and then go to settings and check motion blur and then you might leave it at default too or you can just crank it up i like to crank it up because it looks pretty good but this is pretty cpu and render heavy so if you have problems with motion blur on 10 just lower it a bit because this takes a ton to render so now with this done go to your last merge node merge 2 hit shift spacebar and then type in camera shake and add and then you can go to x deviation and lower this Go to Y deviation, lower this as well, and then lower the overall strength so that it doesn't look like an earthquake. So once you have your camera shake settings done, go to edges and then hit duplicate. Because this will just fill in the blankets when the camera shake is happening. All right, so we're pretty much done. So once everything is set up, let's just watch it back to see how it looks. So this looks pretty good, right? All right, guys, that is it for today's video. Hope you liked it. Hope you got value out of it. If so, please consider leaving a like and a subscribe because, you know, this would just help the channel a ton. And yeah, that's all I got for now. Hope you have a great day. See you in the next one. Bye.